When I was little, I had to imagine that there was some limit to physical pain in order to enjoy the day. I had never yet enjoyed a day, but I never stopped trying to arrange for happiness. My present plan to get Tatum into my house is as good as any other. It is a very pleasant stage of development, still like a daydream. Nothing has changed. My father predicted everything when he said I would procrastinate until I died. <laughs> I knew then it was true. In America, it was terribly painful to know this as a child. Now that I'm nearly 40 and in North Africa, it is still painful. A play. Is it writing I'm putting off, or was it always something else? A religious sacrifice? The only time I wrote well, when I passed through the inner door, I felt guilt. I must find that again. If I can't, maybe I shall find a way to give it up. I cannot go on this way. I love Tangier, but like a dying person. When Tatum and Sharifa die, I might leave. But we are, all three of us, the same age, more or less, Tatum older, Sharifa a bit younger. I'd like to buy them meat and fish and oil so that they will stay alive longer. I don't know which one I like best and how long I can go on this way at this point of expectation, yet knowing at the same time that it is all hopeless, that it is, does it matter? It is more the coming home to them that I want than it is they themselves. But I do want them to belong to me, which is of course impossible. I must try to stop thinking of them. Best to spend a month or two at Madame de Marquette's. The hardest time is now, early 1950s.